Hello everybody, my name is Alan. I'm from Sauber Lab and today will be another video about Docker. In this video specifically, we're gonna show how you can create your email or create your email host. In this way, if you have a specific website, in my case, Sauber Lab, you can create some emails or some users specific for that host. In this way, you can have alan at cyberlab.com and the program that we're gonna use to do this configuration will be mail call and this program works specifically in the docker so you don't need to do so many things if you have a machine and you have docker this will work for you so if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it we're going to show in this video but first of all don't forget to leave your like consider to subscribe for the channel and let's understand a little bit more about it The container that we're going to install is this one, makecall.rise, and that before we start to install it, we need to come in preparation for your system. And they already tell some things that you need to know before you start to install it, because uh, save time. They say that you should not install Knowledge NAS and other devices with this kind of platforms or virtual machines. So in my case, I'm using a virtual machine, but they suggest you to don't do it because they will not work in the way that they expect. Other thing, you need to open some ports, so if you don't have ability to open some ports, stop this video because they will not work as expect. And that they say that you can have only one application working in this system, you cannot have a two or three mail system in the same docker, same machine. And you need to understand a little bit about DNS and you need to configure it. And here they will say what's the base of configuration. Other thing that they will say, you need to have at least one gigabyte or one gigahertz CPU. You need to have minimum of six gigabytes of run plus one. So they suggest you have around seven gigabytes at least. You need to have around 20 gigabyte minimum. If you want one gigabyte of uh, store for your mails, you need to have 21 and continue on. And other thing, this system only work with uh, 8664 bits. If you want to use ARM system, if you have uh, Oracle Cloud virtual machine and you want to create instance that work with ARM, they will not work. You need to have at least 64, 86 bits CPU. Any other CPU you can work, you can have a computer that work and they say that uh, if you want to have your database, you need to have more run or more space for it. Other thing, they give what uh, operating system that work. So they are comparable for Centrons S, Debian, and Ubuntu. In our case, we're gonna install Ubuntu, so not a problem. If you want to use any other system that has not been tested or they are not sure that you're gonna work as expect. Other thing they say about the firewalls or, or ports that you need to open, and here's the classification for the ports. And here the ports, they will say what you're gonna do for each application. So if you have your post fit Macon, this one will use the port 25, 465, and continue on. So all those ports need to be open. And for you to access this application, you need to have the port 80 or 443. And that's uh, this NCX for the Malco, if you want to set it externally. So have this one in mind, we can now jump in our machine and start to configure it. And that we're gonna do this step-by-step -step configuration. Don't worry, you don't need to read everything because I'm gonna show you and go with you everything. Anyway, I will try to leave the link in description step-by-step -step how you can do it. So you don't need to tape everything, you only can copy and paste. So let's open our Putty to start our installation. So once that I open Putty, I will log in with my user and put my password. And here I have my system. So we'll clean it and start the first stage of installation. First thing you need to update your system to be sure that it will work well. So we'll put sudo apt update and I'll put my password. And here they will check all the packs to confirm that everything that you are running is the latest revision. After this one, you need to install some basic applications in order to make it work well. So let's clear this page and install those following applications. You're gonna install the transport HTTPS, certification, core, and others. So let's start this one. 
First time that you're going to install, they ask if you want to restart this package. And you say, yes, I want to restart and put yes. Now you need to download the key for the Docker. In my case, I'm using Ubuntu, so I'm using the Ubuntu key. If you use Debian or any other system, remember to look for the correctly system. Otherwise, it will not work well. So now we can put enter and they just download the key. Now we're going to check the repository or add the information in the repository. And they ask, you want to cancel? Put control C, otherwise you can put enter. I will put enter and that they will download the rest of the information for this repository. Now we need to update our system again to be sure that we will use the latest revision. So we'll put sudo apt update and run it. Now we can clean our table and now it's the time that we're going to install the Docker. So to do this installation, we're going to do this full step. sudo apt get install docker c, docker c click and contain .eo and put enter. Now they say you want to need to install at least 401 megabytes of data. You are sure that you want to do it and you say yes, I want to do and go ahead. So now it's the time that it will take a little bit longer until the finish installation. So let's wait this one to finish to install. Now this one just finished to install. We can clear this page and we can check if it's work well and if everything is okay, doing this follow installation, we're going to install hello world. So sudo docker run hello world and put enter. If your installation work well, you're going to see this message. Hello docker, everything to work well. So we know that's working well. So now let's install a portainer. The first one we're going to create the volume portainer and the second one we're going to use or download the portainer using port 900 and put enter. Now, your protein is working, but you don't need to open this stage because we're going to need to do all these configurations before it. Wonderful. Now we have protainer. We're going to clear this page. Now we're going to open the folder or location that we want to install this email. In my case, I want to install the CD empty and here is the place that I want to install it. In my case, I don't have anything in this folder, but we need to start to download the basic information. Before we started to download the mail call, we needed to install the Docker Compose because we run this mail call using Docker Compose. For it, we're going to first download the information. And once that you download, you're going to install it. To check if everything is installed well, we're going to check and put sudo docker compose and version. And if appear some version, it means that's work. If you don't appear anything, it's because you don't have anything. So now what we need to do, we need to mix this docker to a user group. It's not required, but it's a good thing for you to do. So we're going to do sudo user a docker user. And we now we use docker as a user group. Now we need to start to install this Macon. So I already have in the fold MMT. So I will download all the information from this application and put enter. Now they will download everything, it will take some minutes. Once that they finish, you're going to have another fold inside your MMT. And I already have this folder. We can copy this folder and enter it. So CD, enter, and let's click this page again. So in this folder, I have all this configuration. I have uh, create code, environmental, and continue on. What we need to do, we can generate our configuration, the first step for our configuration. So we're going to put sudo generate configuration. And now they will ask, what's your mail domain or what's the mail server? In my case, I will create a mail for CyberLab. So we'll put mail.cyberlab.com and put enter. Now they will ask my time zone. If you're not sure about your time zone, we can use this website to locate all your time zone and where you are in the world. So in my case, I'm in Europe, London. So I will come here and look for London. And here it's my location, Europe, London. So I can come here and paste this information, Europe, London. Now they ask which kind of system that you want to use. You want to use a stable or you want to choose a test one. In my case, I will want to use a stable because I don't want to risk in production to have some problems. 
So I put one and put enter. Now they will create the key and the key is created. So in my case, we need to configure this information. We will put sudo nano malcon and put enter. Hits all the configuration from this specific application and we can go step by step. So here as default, they will say that my user and my password will be admin and move. Now my mail server host name will be this one. If I go down, they will say some pass, you don't need to worry about it. The database, you don't need to modify the password as well. The HTTPS blind, you need to configure it here. The first time that I run it, I didn't put the HTTPS blind and they didn't work. So here you need to put 0 0.0.0.0 .0 and the same thing for this one. If you don't put it, they will not work the way that I expect. So it's good for you to have it. So let's go down more. And here all the ports that you're using, you don't need to modify, only need to open those ports for your system, have external access for the system. And here is exactly the same website that we told about the time zone. So you don't need to worry, you can only copy this one and locate your correctly time zone. Other thing that you really need to configure it, it's your SSL certification. So if you come here down, and here is the configuration that you need to do. If you want to do any X proxy manager or any other configuration, you need to put yes, they will skip it. If not, you can use the standard SSL certification, but if you want to use any other application, and leave it to know, it will not work the way they expect. Have everything configured, now you can put Ctrl X, yes, and enter, and now we can start to run this application. To run this application, we're gonna do sudo docker compose up slash minus D and put enter. Now they will take a little bit longer because they will download all those applications, all those volumes and install everything. So let's wait this application to install everything. Once that finish, we can open our protein. So let's, in this middle time, let's open our protein and see what is going on. Okay, once that you open your protein, they will open this page for you to your user. So let's create our user first. And now we can access our protein and we can primary containers. And here it's all the application. So this mouse can start to start, but the rest is all the application that you currently have. In my case, this one is Hello World, so let's remove it because I don't need to have this container. And here will be the port that I'm gonna use. So what can I do? Now I can access exactly this one, only change for HTTPS, advanced and enter. As I told you, the first user will be admin and will be move. Here the red shows some information for you. So my host name will be this one. Here is the IP checks, what you can check it in your system. So if you come here, check configuration, options, and customize, you can check all your IPs and configure it as you need. We don't need to do it in this stage. Let's go back for our information. Here they will say what time, what your uh, time zone and how much information that I have and if all the information or all the applications work. If any application is not working, you can restart it or check what's going on. So now we can come here and start to add our first email. To add our first email, we'll click email, configuration, and we need to add our domain. So add domain, and we'll put domain, cyberlab, description. I don't need to do any description at this stage. Also, I don't need to configure anything. If you want some specific things look like more space or more data, here is the time that you can do it. Always you can come back and modify according to your needs. So I come here and put add and restart as all go. If you only put add domain and you don't restart, they will not work properly. So it's better you to restart your thing. Once that you restart, they will have your first domain and all the information that you want to have. And if we click here in DNS, here they will look all the configuration that you should have in your system. And here, if you have your Cloudflare, you need to add those information Cloudflare against of those type. Also, you can download it and you can install it directly in Cloudflare to save time. So now, we're gonna create our first email address. So mailbox, mailbox, and we'll add a new, new mailbox. Because I have only one domain added for this system, they will only appear one domain. So if I put info, 
and put generate password, this will be my new password. So I come here and save outside only to remember it and I put add. So now I have uh, some basic information. I can open this email address for this kind of configurations if you want to add in Outlook. If I wanted to log in, I can have uh, some configuration and I can do all the rest of information as I need. So now I can come in app and webmail. Here I can use my user and put my password and enter. So now here it's my page where I can send my mails, can look my mails online. And if you configure the NX proxy manager or the Cloudflare tunnel, you're gonna have access directly for your website for it. Otherwise, you can only use local, what is not so interesting. And here they say what has been created. And you have your calendar, you have your email address, you have all the information that you need. So guys, I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you like, don't forget to leave your like. Consider to subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed yet. And see you next time.